It's so beautiful outside today. I feel as if I have been in close contact with this wonderful earth and all its glorious intricate details of life far longer than the mere and simple 28 years of this lifetime that I can recall being alive and still in the presence of. But a truly surreal encounter transpires between an awakened soul still lost in the world of continuous change and denial and an old forgotten living earth. There is nothing in life that can ever even pale in comparison to the depth of awe captured in the exchange that takes place in the backyard such as this one between a young woman such as me who sits faithfully and blissfully loving acceptance of herself and all her own flawed to be and the master, her maker, her provider, her home, the planet on which she resides, so much on so many dimensional levels to draw with every breath and internalize and yet absolutely no pressure to against herself, pressure to acquaint herself with the larger picture. And no rush to familiarize herself with her ambiguous, nameless, faceless, universal identity. Somehow, even in her recognition of how trivial, how microscopically insignificant existence in a world that, when broken down upon, or when looked down upon from space, cannot even be identified or seen, which can only be seen at large, massive continents trapped apart and separated from each other in a watery world. She, and yet still in a quiet, contemplative state of her relevance in time, of her relevance in time and space, she knows her life can come and go as if it never happened and she does not feel insignificant at all. In fact, this concept of her life meaning absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things actually soothes her loneliness and knowing she's not only the life she individually has experienced, she also um, is she also has an alternate identity that will not be lost in the wake of her own death. Upon her departure, she imagines her soul resting above this temporary world of hers once more, having abandoned and shed its solid physical form with a loving fondness much like a mother. Looking back as she catches a glimpse of her child from across the room as she observes her child playing excitedly. Um, uh, uninhibited with even without even a twinge of self consciousness or apprehension to who is immediately watching. Um, it does her heart good makes her feel her lifetime and all her efforts were worth it to see how blissful the life she brought into the world is one engaged in playful participation between its own imagination and its beginning discovery of its own abilities to interact and create reactions with anything it touches or attempts to disturb or make in this world. I will forever keep a part of that childlike innocence alive. In the spirit of my energy, I exert along my lifetime voyage so much joy to experience at the tips of my own fingers, not needing anything besides my imagination, my own wild amazement, keeping my inner child alive. Um, unvanquished, outwardly imposed notions that demand absolute certainty of supposed factually undeniable limitations, which to me, my childlike stage of comprehension, have no value or merit whatsoever. I created energy fully alive in a playful heart, untainted by the illusion of helplessness or insignificance.